Hello everyone, this is Prashant. Welcome to our Python Automations LNAME series. So today we are going to see about the if statements and for loops. So what is statement? So basically statement is to find if condition is true, I will do some action. If condition is false, I will do certain actions. Like if I want to find which is the greatest numbers A in A and in B. So I am going to give a if keyword and I am going to use a relational operator. We studied in the previous class. If A is less than B, so which is A is the smallest. Suppose it's otherwise, what is the condition? B is the smallest. So if A is less than C, so based upon this condition, it will go into this. If condition is fails, it will go to the else statements. In a similarly, there are nested if also. Like if I have a condition, age is greater than 80, so he is a eligible for voting like that okay so i will print he is eligible okay so i want to put an another condition in if condition age is greater than 45 i want to print he is a senior citizen so like this is the nested for loop like inside for loop there is another for loop if i am putting else he is not eligible for voting. Okay, so this is the nested if else, like inside if another if. So what is if else condition? Else if suppose I have two condition to match. That means if I am if number is greater than zero means so this number is a number is positive else if if number equal equal to zero then this is zero else this number could be a negative number so see this so if i want to do a two condition in the same place i will do the else if condition okay so i'm right click it and running the statements so for this a is the smallest and uh, based upon the age he is eligible for voting and the given number is zero so this is the if statements so like if else statements nested statements and else if statements okay then number uh, then we'll jump onto the for loop in the for loop we are taking a one list and one dictionary we studied both about the what is list and what is dictionary in the data types video you go and watch the video of data types okay so what is the for loop so if you want to do the same action more than once we will use a for loop condition okay so for is a keyword and i want to give what what's the like i'm initializing the variable here in, in the list so list is the my list variable name so i'm going to print each each of the value okay so this i'm printing the variable so what will happen if i ran this code so whatever in the list so all the data are printing in a list so this is a normal iteration method and this is using index how i will using an index concept here so for the same i'm printing i in i'm using some certain range so here i'm using range i'm telling 10 range okay so here i am printing the i value so what will print it will print the number 0 to 10 9 numbers because i give uh, my range is 0 it start by index index actually start by 0 so 0 to 9 so it will print the value from 0 to 9 okay so what is the third one so we can use a multiple variable as well right now we are using val and only one variable so in this dictionary we have two one this is a key and this is the value so i am going to give two values one is key another is value in in the dictionary so i am giving dex dot high term so i am printing the key as well as the value so i am printing here so see here it is printing the key as well as all the value so thanks for watching the video to if you like the video please subscribe and share to your friends if you have any uh, doubts please comment me in the below